I stopped, I stopped working out at the gym. I stopped working at the gym because everybody there is so much stronger than me. <laughs> That's why I feel better about myself. I started working out at the local physical rehabilitation center. <laughs> And I'm telling you, that's a huge ego boost right there. Because <laughs> I may not be able to bench press a lot, but I can certainly catch a tennis ball. <laughs> the therapist is like, you're doing great, Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> I'm like, wait, you see me walk. I don't know if you ever noticed this, like whenever you're talking to somebody who recently lost a lot of weight, for whatever reason, they always want to show you a picture of what they looked like before, right? Like, why well, don't want to see a picture of you when you were unhealthy? Well, nobody else does that. You're never talking to someone, they're like, oh, today I'm eight years clean. I'm like, oh, congratulations. They're like, thanks. Hey, you want to see a picture of me with a needle in my arm? <laughs> and stop trying to get into shape. Uh, people do, you guys do yoga? A lot of people do yoga. Uh, they say that yoga teaches you how to listen to your body. Well, so does Indian food. <laughs> If you really want to see how far you can stretch, order tikka masala and get stuck in traffic on the way back. <laughs> I try to watch what I eat though. I saw, saw a pack of gummy worms that said no artificial flavor. Right? It's like, who buys gummy worms hoping it tastes as close to real worms as possible? <laughs> I run, that's what I do for, for exercise. A lot of people listen to like hip hop music or, or rock music to like really motivate themselves. But to really push myself crowd, I listen to a playlist I have titled Civil Rights Movement. <laughs> it's just cops yelling get them and German shepherds barking. <laughs> I saw, this, uh, I saw this sign the other day that said, uh, drive like your kids live here. So I drove as fast as I could in the opposite direction. <laughs> We're living in some uh, interesting times. Did everybody, uh, everybody vote? I don't care who for, but did you guys all vote? Yeah. 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 People always talk about how voting is so important and you have to vote, and if you don't vote, you can't complain. That's why now I just vote so that I can complain. <laughs> like, I don't even care what it's about. Like my wife's like, Matt, can you please stop complaining about washing the dishes? I'm like, whoa, stop right there. I voted. <laughs> this is my right. There's a lot of friction going on with, with, with black people and police officers. Any, any police officers here tonight? Any undercover police officers here? <laughs> I feel like a lot of young black people are wrongfully in prison, right? That's why if I ever, oh, a black person. <laughs> uh, this one's for you. <laughs> I do I feel like a lot, of, a lot of young black people are wrongfully in prison. That's why if I ever have a kid, I want to name them Case Dismissed. <laughs> Judges like uh, State of New York versus Case Dismissed. <laughs> You're free to go, son. <laughs> I know people are like protesting like against police brutality in a lot of a lot of different ways too. I saw I saw a dude who was wearing a shirt that had the word nigger with a line through it, and below that the word nigga with a line through it, and below that the word neither with a check mark, right? Which I thought was like a really shocking shirt to wear uh, for a Korean guy. <laughs> you guys could let out a sigh of relief on that one. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like as a society though, we need to get rid of the death penalty. I want to get rid of the death penalty and I want to implement something more severe. <laughs> 
punishing criminals by making them work in retail. <laughs> I, the judge is like, guilty, I hereby sentence you to life at Coles. <laughs> It's like, ah, oh, man, I should have taken that Target plea bargain. <laughs> uh, if I were ever on death row, I would want my last meal to be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right? Just so I can go out on my own terms, thanks to my peanut allergy. <laughs> I saw this, uh, any, any, any veterans here tonight? A, a few, oh, round of applause for, for the vets here. I saw, I saw this bumper sticker. I saw this bumper sticker that said, if you love your freedom, thank a veteran. Right? So I found a veteran. I went over to him. I'm like, excuse me, sir. Thank you for my freedom. He's like, son, I didn't fight in that war. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Enjoy the